This collection is now over a thousand works. We say a thousand great works to be seen and a thousand great stories to be told. And that's the key. Benuri is the oldest Jewish cultural institution in the United Kingdom. It was founded in 1915 in Whitechapel, in essentially the Jewish ghetto, in the second year of World War I. What made it special is it wasn't founded by the landed gentry or the great doyens of the Jewish community. It was founded by artisans, for artisans, at the end of 1914. It's a collection of over a thousand works. Over 70% of the 300 artists were first or second generation immigrants to this country. Most of them fleeing for their lives, either from Russian pogroms or Nazi Germany. The story of these artists is one often of journeys of emigration, of immigration, of exile. And although obviously that applies particularly to the Jewish community in certain periods, all these themes are absolutely general and universal. So we hope that these pictures, although they were started very specifically by a Jewish art society, they will speak to us all individually. If you look at these paintings alone, you will see how much they have to tell us about Jewish artists who come from emigre families, how much they actually contributed to the vitality of visual art in England. Not only contributed, but actually almost uh, revolutionized in the case of David Bomberg. This is like de Kooning, only it's 50 years before. <laughs> this is opportunity to see at least some of the highlights of it um, demonstrate how extraordinary the collection really is. Just for starters, Gertler and Bomberg were important British artists that um, one doesn't see enough of. And to see the kind of riches that the Benuri has, this wall of Bomberg is mind-boggling. They're all extremely good works, and Bomberg is one of the most important artists in the collection, and ties through very neatly to contemporary artists in the collection, like Auerbach at the end, who Bomberg actually taught at the Borough Polytechnic in the late 40s. Contrasting these two is, is quite wonderful because they're both about painting and about the act of painting. It's very interesting to compare the paint strokes, one painting with the other. You've got these very visual things that are really not going to show up any other way. And you want to sort of go back and forth and look at how each painter applies paint. I'm still a great believer that we're not going to be able to replicate museum experiences and that's why a collection like this has to be available and visible and seen. It doesn't duplicate something that you can see somewhere else. It's not like what you could see at the Tate Britain or Tate Modern or whatever. It's not that we are the same as Tate because we're not, but we complement Tate. So if, if you take David Bomberg for example, we have nine masterly oils. The Tate have 44 works in their collection. Put the two together, you have David Bomberg. Without Ben Uri's collection being on show, you don't. By collecting the work of these artists, by making sure that they are never overlooked, by exhibiting them, by reproducing them, by getting people to write about them, by generally encouraging everybody to talk about them and discuss their meaning, it keeps that spirit alive, doesn't it, in a very, very vital way. We mold the scholarship to be accessible, to be easily read, to be easily understood, so that when people leave, they leave one centimeter taller from inspiration and with one extra chapter in their mind about the artists that really excited them. In our education programs, which are national, they're not local, they're not Golders Green or Hendon, they're Tower Hamlets, they're rural Berkshire, they're now only this week Newcastle upon Tyne, 350 miles away. So these children's first introduction to the word Jewish is through our collection. But what's the response? Please miss, my mummy's from Poland. Please miss, my daddy's from Prague. So the whole element of how our society in Great Britain has evolved in becoming a mixed and 
race and mixed economy, if you like, of different countries, that is exactly the same as our artists have brought to the country. The stories we tell, be it from identity, immigration, um, through the Holocaust, um, mainstream stories, they are all hugely relevant to the plethora of communities that exist within the UK and within London today. One feels the Benner is not just a museum of dusty old things, but has a relevance um, to today's school children, that it's um, continually evolving, adapting, looking at contemporary issues and applying them to the works that are in the collection. And the Benner is also constantly growing, like the Chagall, the wonderful Chagall, which has just been acquired. In our research, we find out that no British museum has any Chagall crucifixions of any period in their collection. So it really was a very straightforward equation. As long as no other museum in the world had done the research we had, or no other collector had recognised this piece for what it is, we had a chance. Bidding started, and within 60 seconds, the gavel came down, the auctioneer said, Pour vous, monsieur, pour vous. I was so shocked, I looked behind me, I thought, don't tell me somebody else has got it. And then I realised we had it. It's a triumph for knowledge, it's a triumph for scholarship, and it's a triumph for London, and it's a triumph for Britain. And the fact that Ben Uri, the London Jewish Museum of Art, happened to be the figurehead of that triumph is something that we're very, very proud of. a permanent home, the Benuri would be able to bring all these wonderful works that you see around us into play in a larger context. We need a permanent home. It needs to be in the centre of London. It needs to be within five or seven minutes walk of the National Gallery. We need to have a quarter of a million people visiting. We do multiple programmes, multiple exhibitions all very varied that would appeal to the broadest based audiences that are out there. So without a permanent home, we cannot give London the program, the exhibitions, the education, the scholarship and the scale that we could. We believe that museums in the 21st century is about the engagement with our public. Public from every nationality, every community, and that's why we describe Ben Uri as the art museum for everyone.